Boom! <laughs> uh, hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Friday, the 23rd of July, 2021. <coughs> uh, right now in Jacksonville, Florida, it is 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity is at 96 percent. Uh, uh, 25 degrees Celsius. So having a few phone issues this morning. It's actually five minutes to eight. So I've been messing with these things for several minutes. I actually had an issue yesterday where the one phone didn't have any, the, the video didn't have any audio. I don't know what I did. Um, mess with it, mess with it, mess with the phone itself until I finally got it fixed. And I had a problem, just basically the same problem with one of my other phone camera things where I inadvertently, I guess, touched some kind of a button somewhere. Don't realize it and don't get any audio. So I'm not exactly sure how I fixed the one. But I went home and I was messing with the other one. And somehow I got it fixed too, so. I got both microphones back. Then today I decided I was going to try and swap the views around. And I put this one up here looking at me. This is up in the top left corner of the windshield. But the phone that I usually use to shoot at me, it was way too big. Uh, it, it, it doesn't adjust down. So. I mean, I'm almost filling the screen in the one I'm using now, but the other one, you couldn't see the top of my head. So I don't know how that, how that would have been on the video itself, but for me it was disconcerting. So I swapped them around. And then when I went to record, the one that I usually use would, would click into record and then click out of record. So, just, you know, that, that, that crazy stuff. It's like, what is going on? Well, me not being technophobe or uh, being all, you know, all that techno technologically adept or whatever, my main thing is go ahead and turn it off and turn it back on again. And today it worked on this one phone down here, I think. Hopefully I'm still recording. Yeah, I'm still recording. Oh, I can't see the screen with my sunglasses on. But I do the same thing on my PC. I mean, I'll be typing along and somehow inadvertently hit a hit a key or a combination of keys. And suddenly my PC has gone nuts. You know, screen changing or um, flipping to an open to another, another page or <laughs> Lord, I have, to, you know, I have no idea. And I don't know what I did. So, sometimes I could just, you know, close the new page out or, or there's a an X somewhere or um, something. So, uh, yeah, tech, technology sometimes can be aggravating I guess and it goes it's not just computers um, what about coffee I mean Lord knows I enjoy I enjoy my I enjoy my Folger singles figures I'm gonna get this traffic light I mean there's mornings that I have problems just putting water in the cup before I have my coffee. I don't know about y'all, but then you have these uh, gourmet coffees, I guess. I don't know. Um, you know, they're they're like thirty dollars a pound 
coffee and you have to grind your own and then you use filtered water and measure out the exact amount of water and bring the, the water up to the right temperature over the exact amount of beans and then you time how long your beans are on and people <laughs> uh, I just need a cup of coffee You know, there's, there's several of them that, that are out there being advertised for people going camping or whatever. And, you know, when I'm going camping, I want minimal. I mean, I, I love my Folgers singles. Like I said, I'm not sponsored by Folgers. It's just, it's quick and easy. You know, I don't have a, a whole bag to stuff into my old bag of, you know, paraphernalia to, to stuff into my camp stuff or, you know, to throw into my go bag so that I can have a cup of coffee in the morning or in the evening or whenever I want a cup of coffee. Uh. Anyway, I was hoping that guy got over. So, yeah. Oh man. So anyway, for those of you that were wondering yesterday, what happened to, you know, why I only did one video? That was it. I done. I, I did both videos. It doesn't cost me anything. You know, an extra. No, excuse me, an extra minute. Maybe to set things up, but yeah, when I when I went to when I went to post them and do a quick a quick scroll through, I didn't have any any audio. So there that is. Hopefully these two turn out today. Knock on wood. I think that's actually plastic, that's wood. Uh, this cruise control set. Get over in the other lane. Still not crazy about this bridge. I mean, I've been going over this bridge for close to 30 years, so. I've been over in everything from school buses to big, big, you know, uh, triacs and dump trucks. Never really liked it, liked it. I really, there's just something about the way this van goes over the bridge. I'm not crazy about, but oh well. Anybody here has been down to Miami? Uh, they have some bridges down there. Not like they're not over rivers. They're, they're part of the part of the highway infrastructure, overpasses, and what have you. And some of them, they seem as high as this bridge. I don't know if they actually are or not. But if you look at them. My goodness, they're stacked four and five high, and they're narrow, but I, didn't, I never really had a problem with any of those. Anyway, it's a funny story out of Miami, that's for sure. I went down there to work for a friend's friend, because my friend was working for him, and he needed a driver. I had already turned in my my uh, Class A license or my Class B. Turned in both of my 
and I didn't, I didn't have a commercial driver's license any longer. Just my regular driver's license. But we were only doing shuttles back and forth in in Miami, supposedly. So I didn't have to worry about getting stopped or whatever. And uh, anyway, we were down there. I, I worked with a with a crew of Mexicans. Uh, about 20, 20 Mexicans. There were three of us uh, gringos, North Americans, white men, whatever. Uh, I was sitting down there at a, at a traffic signal after I had a full load on the back of the back of the dump truck. And suddenly, this pretty, pretty, pretty cop jumps up on my on my tank and her face sticking in the window and she starts yakety yakking at me. I had no idea what she was saying. She was talking in Spanish. And uh, I guess I looked at her kind of blank and she looked at me back and she said, no hable. <laughs> and no ma'am, I don't speak Spanish. I don't remember what, why she had jumped up to ask me. So, something about uh, the route that I was taking uh, was going to be closed. So she was giving me a warning that I needed to go a different way. Something to that effect. So. Uh, look at this landscaper behind me still. Yeah. Another one, uh, I was watching, watching Fluffy, um, Gabriel, something or other, a comedian, um, Mexican comedian, Gabriel Iglesias. Dude's, dude's really cool, he, he's, I find him really funny, but I also like the fact that he's a he's a car nut, more more a, a VW bus nut. He has a he has saved a, a lot of the the old VW buses. Um, anyway, he was talking about. I think, he, I think he was in Miami, and I've had a similar experience. Uh, he walked in, he walked into a restaurant and asked for a coffee, and they brought him a little shot cup of coffee, and he was like, you know, no, no, I want coffee. And they said, this, this is cafeito or cafeito, or he said, no, me no ito, me grande. And, uh, they came back and they brought him a whole bowl of this Cuban coffee, and he drank it. <laughs> now, and again, I don't know if any of y'all have ever had Cuban coffee. Whew, that is high test to the max. Um, to make it, I mean, you make a very strong, very, very strong brew of coffee, and then you add a ton of sugar. He hold, it takes almost as much sugar as it will hold, I think. Um, one sip will get your one little one of those little shot glasses. Not even a shot, it's more like half a shot. One of those will get you running. So, I had a similar experience while we were on the job down there. One of the local local truckers came in with some stuff that we needed manhole uh, to manhole pieces of concrete for the manholes and uh, he brought a coffee cup out of, out of his truck and he had a whole bunch of those little paper shot glasses um, I can't believe I got the 
stuck behind this truck. Ugh. Figures on a day that I'm running behind. But anyway, he asked if we wanted a cup of coffee, and this was uh, basically my first, I'm pretty sure it was my first time having that. I know it was the, the other two guys with me, the other two supervisors. Uh, it was their first times. Some of the Mexicans also. So anyway, he set up on the on the fender of his truck, or the fender of the trailer, and handed us these little tiny cups of coffee. I was like, "What is this?" Of course, he kind of explained it a little bit more. But man, yeah, that one he talks like that one little one little sip of coffee, and ay ay ay. They need to sell that at truck stops. Where they used to sell the, they used to sell speed, you know, the 500 mile coffee. They can sell coffee cubana, Cuban coffee. They don't. Uh, I know I don't speak. I don't speak Spanish. Um, but yeah, they sold that for truck drivers. They'd be wired for sound. So, uh, let's see how things go today. I brought another art project with me. I'm not sure if I'll get around to being able to do it do it and record it that's the that's the problem I think today the ask cleaner is going to be there so I'd have to operate around her vacuuming and other noises but we'll see it's not a shouldn't be a long project Setting up will probably be longer than the actual project. Anyway. Ooh, that sun. She is bright. Where's she like in that camera? Yeah, she kind of comes through. Anyway, we're at the terminus of the day of the run today. And I appreciate y'all that have come along for the ride and listened to me babble. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media. That'd be fandoculous. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. Until I see y'all again. I hope you have a fandoculous day. Swatchy, y'all. Bye bye. Pulled over because yesterday shutting these cameras off. I almost ran off the road. <laughs> uh.